Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about how to build credibility on LinkedIn or any social media platforms. So if you're not, it's not just about what you put out online, but also what you do offline that contributes to your content of substance online. So if you're ready, let's get started. So when I first started on LinkedIn as well, um, as I mentioned this story before, I had only 20 connections. So I wasn't sure whether any content I put out, people would believe me. So this is the doubt that I had because I wasn't sure whether I was putting out content that people find, you know, worth it to read or if people would actually trust what I say or what I know. Now guys, it's not just about what you put out online, but also what you do offline that contributes to substance. Now it's very important because there's a lot of content being put out every day. It's almost a saturated market on LinkedIn alone where people are always telling stories about themselves, their past, their future, and what they're actually currently doing. But I tell you, the real asset in actually building content is when you put up current events. So what's happening with you right now? Where are you present right now? What are you involved in right now? And this adds credibility to your content. So my first step is to be physically present. Now, this is very important. You can't be hiding okay, behind of your computer every day and typing, posting as and when you want to. It is also about providing substance in the content that you deliver. So being present, attending networking events, collect some social assets where you interact with people, take photos with the people you met, or be physically even in terms of delivering a speech. Be part of a speaking gig and there will be pictures as well as videos of you actually delivering that kind of content. There could also be events that you can contribute in terms of charity work. Just doing something physical outside than just online. So online, it's easy to curate stories, of course, but you want to be physically on, offline. So all the doings and all your activities outside of LinkedIn, outside of social media platform, contributes to real valuable substance when you write about it on social media. So whenever you talk about people, the keynote speech you delivered last Friday, it is of substance. It adds credibility because the fact that people now know that somebody else, an organizer, an event planner, have you to grace their ceremony or their event, that means you are a person of credibility. These are the people like universities I spoke to, uh, for example, like newspaper that covers me in their feature stories or podcasters that have me on their podcast. For all this involvement that I do outside of LinkedIn is exactly what made me a person of credibility. It naturally adds credibility to me because there was someone else who were talking about me who will agree and affirm with what I do, who appreciate my work and my content more than just myself. So therefore, if you want to start putting yourself out there and you're typing content on a daily basis to highlight your best qualities, your achievements, your past accomplishments, it's also nice to also be involved in things that's outside what you normally do. Be part of something, an initiative, a movement, an event. Contribute elsewhere, whether it's for charity work, a professional environment, a corporate setting, whatever it is, be involved, participate. And from there, all those stories will become even more tangible ones that will sell and promote you better when you start putting yourself out there in terms of your content. Now, another way to build credibility is for you to self-participate. For example, if you enjoy the pleasure of writing articles, start with writing your own articles on LinkedIn because articles gives people an insight about your thoughts deeper. They know more about your knowledge, your insights, your opinions, uh, everything that you wish to write, but just as a way that people can know you better. At the same time as well, if you spend some time, for example, investing a couple of hours a week to contribute articles and tangible content to other platforms, for example, writing to for an e-magazine, writing for Forbes, writing for a top-notch uh, company. So by doing that kind of contribution, contributing your knowledge to other platforms so that more and more people could get value from what you know, adds credibility to the person you are. So you're not just about contributing your community to give benefit for yourself, but also giving value to other communities on other platforms just so that they know what you know, they learn what you learn, and as well as giving them value that could impact what they do without having necessarily themselves in your community. The third way of building credibility is to, of course, receive awards. Now, this is something that you don't necessarily am able to plan, but by putting yourself out there, there could be opportunities where you can contribute such that it entitles you for an award, a recognition, 
Um, so in these cases, that all this contributes to your credibility as well. So whenever I have the opportunity where they invite me as a guest judge or to mentor, um, I take up those opportunities, although it's not monetary rewarding for me, but also because by giving value back, it's quite fulfilling. At the same time, that recognition itself put my portfolio in a very nice uh, you know, place. So it, that means that it adds credibility to myself and I can use that credibility to then attract the community I want, including my investors. Another way that can contribute to your credibility is being featured in printed advertisements. So for example, articles being featured with you in physical magazines or especially newspaper that highlights about your business, your achievements or you as a person. All those media publications and articles and features contributes a lot to your credibility. Not everybody gets to appear in the newspaper on a daily basis. So when you have an opportunity to be interviewed, to be showcased in a newspaper that belongs to part of your track records, and of course, your portfolio will also look nicer in that regard. Now, the last best part about building credibility is just making it in such a way that people would love to speak nice things about you without you needing to remind them. So be nice as a person, give value even if it's not recorded. If there's an offline opportunity where you can give advice to someone else so they can improve in your business, just give it. If there's a way that you can impact somebody else by giving them a helping hand, just do it. Not realizing that all this initiative that you've done to help someone else, whether it's giving value or whether it's literally helping that person, makes that person remember your deed. In that case, people will go on to say nice things about you. They will compliment you and praise you to other people they know in the community. And that's what you want. You want people to be speaking good things about you because trust me, it does come back to you one way or another. Credibility works such that it is more convincing and trustworthy when someone else says good things about you than what you say of yourself. So while you're trying to also say your best qualities on social media with personal branding, but you also want to encourage your friends and your connections on social media to be strong advocates of you as a person. But you have to put on a genuine persona about the kind of person you really are in order for somebody to be advocates and recommending you to someone else. So in this regard, what I wanted to say is that, so continue to do good things, kind things, impact people of value, even if you are not being recorded, even if it's not documented, even if no one else knew about it, except for the person and yourself. That is the strongest way and the most effective way to build credibility. Knowing that people in a market or people going out there networking without you in your absence is talking good things about you. And that's how more new connections will come back to you. And these are usually very long lasting and concrete and substantial ones. So I wish you good luck in building credibility. Look at all the ways and channels of how to encourage your community to contribute credibility to you, participating, be involved, be present, not just be at home behind a computer and typing stories every single day. You need to get out there. It's not just about online branding, but online and offline branding works in the loop. So whatever happens in physical settings contributes a lot to your online presence. Now, whoever you are as an online presence, you have to be that kind of person as well when it comes to physical setting. So credibility needs to be justified both ways in order to cohesively build a strong personal brand of yourself. Now, if you enjoyed this video and truly really find it beneficial, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel. I do release videos every Sunday and Thursday and possibly Tuesdays too. So I would really like you to keep up with more value and content, hopefully to impact you in your business journey. Leave a comment or ask any questions or even leave me a feedback so that I know on which areas I can improve in my future videos. Till then, I see you again. All the best.